student protesters at the University of North Texas, UNT, drove out an anti-trans candidate for the Texas House of Representatives this week, at an event hosted by a conservative student group on campus. The UNT chapter of Young Conservatives of Texas YCT, invited Jeff Younger, a Republican running in the 63rd House District in Texas's state legislature, to speak on Wednesday. A video shared on social media showcases how student protesters stopped him from disseminating his bigoted viewpoints. The students sat in the room Younger was scheduled to speak in, banging their hands on tables and shouting fuck these fascists at Younger and YCT organizers. The students also shouted slogans that expressed support for transgender children in the state, who have been targeted by conservative lawmakers in recent weeks. Younger supports calls to ban gender-affirming care for transgender and non-binary youth in Texas. According to accounts from inside the room where the protest took place, he engaged the protesters by clapping his hands in rhythm to their pounding on tables, calling the demonstrators communists. One person at the event also alleged he shouted back at the protesters, trans people don't exist. Police ordered protesters to leave the building, where they continued chanting in support of trans rights. Officers also provided the president of the YCT group with a vehicle escort. Video of that vehicle driving away shows that it sped toward protesters still outside the building, hitting at least one person who was unable to move out of the way fast enough. Younger's presence on campus came just weeks after YCT distributed transphobic flyers on UNT's campus, amplifying calls to criminalize gender-affirming medical care for transgender youth. It also comes as Texas Governor Greg Abbott R, has ordered state government departments to investigate families who may have provided their transgender or non-binary children with gender-affirming care, which he erroneously describes as child abuse. A wide range of medical organizations have decried Abbott's invasive executive order, noting that gender-affirming care is beneficial to transgender and non-binary children, in fact, such treatments can often be life-saving. Younger announced his candidacy for the state house seat last year, and has made attacks against transgender children in the state a cornerstone of his campaign. Notably, Younger himself has a transgender daughter, whom he lost custody of in 2019 to his ex-wife, his ex now has sole custody of two children from their marriage. During the divorce hearings, the judge in the case noted that Younger's actions were theatrical and showed little concern for his child's well-being. <laughs>